Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly love readings. These will be from the, oh no, they're not weeklies. What am I talking about? They're weekends. Sorry to get you all excited. These are weekend love readings from the 22nd until the 24th of May. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit the notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. Okay. Also, for anyone that's new to the channel, welcome. The weekend reads are a shorter read, so if you're interested in a reading with more detail, make sure that you also hit the subscribe button so that you get notified of the weekly reads. They go into a lot more detail each week. All right, let's go. Love messages, please, for my Virgos, my Virgo peeps. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nine of Cups in reverse. You're not feeling all that great, Virgo, it doesn't look like. There's a little bit of instability going on in your life at the moment. Uh, what is that about, I wonder? Let's see. Okay, love decision. Uh, okay. Okay. This love affair is not setting your world on fire, though. You're feeling a little bit unfulfilled. Um, you might see this person as a bit of a greedy person when it comes to love. Like they want it, they take, take, take. And you're kind of done with it. They, they're very, the whole thing is very shaky. I don't know that this is them in and out, but I feel like the whole, it's a very fragile kind of situation that you're in. Let's see what we've got here. Nine of Cups in reverse, please. There's a Nine of Cups. Mm. I feel like you, you think you could do a lot better. Um, you feel like you've got other options that would actually give you that love that you know you deserve. I feel like this person isn't really that forthcoming with compliments they don't really tell you how they feel um they almost make you feel like they don't actually care about you which is weird and i think you're starting to think you know what what else is out there what other options have i got here um you know maybe maybe there's something better out there for me what is the night and this this is the other thing this could be them because if they're not really that like communicating how they feel about you it kind of makes you feel like they could run out the door at any minute and because they don't they're not really invested they're not really there um what is the night of wands please you know you're gonna have to make a decision though yeah like there's just there doesn't seem to be any progress with this person like i feel like it's going nowhere um it's on and off on and off on and off constant What's the lovers? Lovers. Mm. <laughs> That's a big fat yes, you need to make a decision. So this is the yes card, the sun card, positive card. You may be dealing with a Leo um, or a Gemini, but it's like, yes, you've got to make a decision. Stop procrastinating. Um, you, need to, you need to go ahead and make a decision either way because while you're stuck, you're, you're stuck. This is this here. This uh, wheel in reverse. It's like a giant stop sign when it's in reverse. Okay. Most likely outcome here, please, for Virgo. Most likely outcome for Virgo. Yeah, look at you. Six of uh, swords there. Moving on, my friend. Moving on and healing. Just letting it all go. Sailing away. Sorry, I went to take two cards then, but we'll take them. Yeah, deciding that there's no love here. Ace of Cups in reverse and clarified by um, the Knight of Cups in reverse. So not only do you think there's no love opportunity here, you're not prepared to offer any love opportunity. Um, it's a, like a double whammy, like you're really clear on this is not the love that I signed up for. This is not what I deserve. This is not what I asked for. Um, 
One more, please. You're really starting to see your worth. Ah, yes. And look at you. You're like, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to take my pentacle and I'm going to go hang out on my own and find someone that deserves it. Um, this is about finding and and searching and waiting for the right person to give that long-term commitment to um, and waiting for the right person to give it to as well. So I don't think you're in any hurry to find someone new. I think what you are in a hurry to do is get out of this whatever's happening. Let's go with advice though. Advice for Virgo. Virgo, you might be a little bit afraid of being alone, but Spirit's saying there's no need to be afraid of being on your own. Ace of Swords in reverse. King of Swords in the upright. I'll take one more. Mm, okay. I think what you're trying to avoid is potentially... Um, the conversation. You may be trying to talk yourself out of it and spirit saying stop of that there's two communication cards in reverse here. You've got the page of wands in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse. And it's like it's almost like you're either trying to talk yourself out of it or you're trying to avoid having to talk about it. Um and they're either side of this king of swords and i feel like this is your other person kind of relying on the fact that they they know they know you so well that they're kind of relying on the fact that you won't speak up like they you're known not to kind of confront them on stuff so they're continuously trying to get away with it and spirit's like well that's the picture that's your advice so that's what it looks like you do what you want with it you can either change that and start some talking and that's going to trap them with your talking and then they're going to have to sort it out. But don't not talk about it because you're afraid of losing independence or they're, you're afraid that they might cut you off from a financial point of view um, or just generally afraid of being alone. So not reasons to not do this, by the way. Let's see what the romance angels say. Flirt. Okay. So mm, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So you might need to approach this from a less serious point of view, um, which I don't know how you're going to do that because it's kind of a serious situation, but it's kind of that old adage, you attract more flies with honey um, by being sweet by being nice about it by being kind about it it actually might make that uh, conversation a little bit easier don't maybe don't flirt if you're about to break up with someone but you know use that not necessarily flirting as in um, a romantic or sexual way but flirt as in you know influence people you know have that positive influence um you know, approach it from a positive point of view and it will be an easier conversation because you won't have people offside. You won't have this person offside, which is what you're trying to avoid. Okay, Virgo, that's what I've got for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys for the weekly reads. Bye.